Quinn is like smitten with Madeline and Madeline's like, yeah, he gives good advice. Oh my God. I'm dead. Hey, hey everyone. Welcome back to the Career Legacy Challenge episode 40. And today we are going to seriously focus on Quinn getting promoted and hopefully ready to reach level 10 of his astronaut career. Oh, also I put a rocket ship down um, because I would like him to start building that. And I also renovated uh, Selena's bedroom. So it is red now and I think it's pretty cute. What do you think? All right. And Selena is the first one to wake up this morning. Our newly aged up teenager. Since we think she's going to be the heir, I am also going to start working on her skills. She is going to be going into the athlete career, so we will most certainly need fitness. So I think we'll work on that with her today. She does have school though, so maybe I should have her do her homework first. Why are you acting so glum? Because you're not in a club? Oh my gosh. Don't be like an insider. Literally one of the most boring traits ever. Oh my god, when is the last time one of you cleaned this bathtub? It is filthy. All right, kids are waking up for the day. We'd love to see it. And I think Win has the day off today. So we're going to work on getting his fitness to level eight. And we have to do a space mission, which means we need to start building our rocket ship. That's not going to be fun. I'm not looking forward to that. But we'll work on it. This family wakes up like so early. I swear they're up at like 4 a.m. That would never be me. It's kind of weird seeing all of the kids all grown up now. Like I remember when they were just little toddlers running around. Kind of crazy. All right. Have a good day at school, kiddos. And why don't we fix this really quick? Got to get our, what's it called? Handiness skill up anyways. Someone forgot their homework. One of the kids is going to come home with a punishment for forgetting their homework, perhaps. And then buddy, I'm gonna have you go jogging. Go to work on off hours. I didn't know I could do that. I guess it's because he's a workaholic. He has the ability to do that. That's kind of nice. Ooh, now that Selena gets pretty good grades, some bullies have been picking on her lately. Should she confront them with a witty comeback or ignore them and hopefully they'll pick a different target? Oh, our girl is not gonna stand for that. She's gonna confront them. Selena unleashes a tirade of poetic insults and put downs, then drops an imaginary mic. The bullies quickly lose interest in harassing someone who's willing to stand up for herself. Heck yeah, Selena, we love to see it. That's our girl. Oh, and there we go. Level eight of the fitness skill. Nice work, Quinn. Guess he wasn't that far off from it. So let's go ahead and, uh, oh no, can you not build this? Oh, you know what? I heard there was a bug like this where you're not even able to build the rocket ship. Well, I guess I'll build it myself then. Let's go on an ex a space exploration mission. I know that's kind of cheating, but it is required for you to go on space missions to get promoted. So I guess I'll just allow myself to do that since it's buggy. Oh, hey, Shayna, don't worry about us. We're just gonna go to space real quick. No big deal. Sorry, just a little busy. All right, our first space mission. Let's see how it goes. Quinn is soaring through the outer reaches of space when he notices an insanely bright something glowing below him. As he swings in closer, he hears engines revving and realizes it's an interstellar racetrack. There's a prize for the winner, but these contestants are no joke. Quinn better be sure his ship is up to it. Join the race. Um, here's the thing. We just built that ship, so I don't really know if it has any upgrades, but does Quinn know that? Probably not. We're joining. Quinn slides into place up at the starting line. To his right, souped up is a blah, 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 piloted by a female canine sapien. To his left, a brawny alien revving the engine of his blah, blah, blah. His sneer revealing a low of sparkling red teeth. Sorry, a row of sparkling red teeth. Bang! The starting gun fires off and they're off. This is not going well at all. Dog girl has taken the lead, but instead of chasing her, red tooth seems intent on menacing Quinn, maneuvering to block him at every turn. Could they be working together? Regardless, Quinn is tired of looking up red tooth's taillights. Should he try to blast him out of the way or play fair? Um, I'm gonna blast him. <laughs> oh no. Quinn gets a lock on Red Tooth and fires, but the shot glances limply off the blah blah blah. Without better cannons, the most he can hope to do to Red Tooth is irritate him. Snarling, Red Tooth rams Quinn off the track, damaging part of his left wing. It's gonna be a rough flight back. Oh no. Oh my god. I'm sorry. That was so dramatic. <laughs> Doesn't look like our first flight went that well. Can we repair it? For a thousand simoleons, I'm crying. Oh my god. Well, gotta rebuild it somehow. Continue rebuilding. Now it lets me work on it. That's interesting. Well, I guess this is what I get for cheating the first time. Karma. All right, looks like it's ready to go again. Let's do this. Explore space. It's always fun. This time, let's try not to crash, okay? Quinn is just biting into his astronaut ice cream sandwich when he spots a small craft that seems to be hailing his ship. Is someone in trouble? Quinn blasts in for a closer look. Quinn draws closer. He realizes it, that it is an alien. Spacecraft piloted by a three-eyed, 16-tentacled alien who is grinning too much to be in real distress. Claiming to be the best starfighter in the universe, the alien challenges him to a duel and offers him a substantial award. Does Quinn accept? Um, yes. I think that was a bad idea. No two space duels begin the same way, but this alien seems to have a plan. With a wave of his tentacles, he zips off to the horizon, then turns his starfighter to face Quinn's. Quinn does the same, pauses, and then veers back to charge the alien ship. The duel is on. What's gonna happen? Oh no, Quinn uses his surprise advantage to 
land the first hit, but goes downhill from there. Note to self, never deal an alien with more than 14 hands. The extra-handed extraterrestrial unleashes a wall of missile fire, and judging by the smoke and warning lights, Quinn's ship has been hit. Should he retreat or fight to regain his edge? I don't want to give up. I'm going to keep fighting. Oh my god, we crashed again. Madeline's calling us. It's good to hear your voice, Quinn. I wanted to ask if I should get to know Monica Bradford a little better. They seem like good company. Who is Monica Bradford? Go for it. I don't care. Oh, this is what happened. Quinn recalls a nifty trick. Pursing his lips, he lets out the shrill alien mating cry. The egomaniac pilot turns one eye on the horizon and one on his mirror, but his third eye spots him coming. The alien dodges Quinn's fire as the clocks run out, telling him to focus on upgrades, not stunts. So, oh man, we really need to upgrade our ship then, huh? It is not going well. Quinn, maybe we should upgrade. It's gonna cost another thousand to rebuild it though. We are really spending a lot of money on this. But I mean, this is his dream, so. And this is all while the kids are not home. Speaking of which, we have a dazed emotion. Crash landing. Ah, I see. That's why. Should Selena invite over classmate Miriam? Okay, sure. Who's Miriam? Oh, I think this was one of her friends. Oh, and she is like so embarrassed right now. I gotta be careful. Can she die like this? I think teenagers can die. What happened? Stop looking at me. Oh, it's a mood swing. Okay, well, you need to get over it. Miriam is very sad. Oh, someone in her family must have just died. Miriam is so cute though. All right, let's have the boys start working on their homework since they seem to be fine. And then maybe Jalen can invite over Michelle Landgrab again. Oh my gosh, just throw that away. Jalen's the one that forgot his homework, I see. When are you sure you should be building a spaceship while you're dazed? I'm a bit worried about you there, bud. Oh, we smell really bad. I don't think we should be talking to Miriam right now. Let's go take a shower. But we can become better friends with her. I'm so nervous for Selena right now. She is not thriving. Girl, you look pathetic. Look at her dragging her feet like this. Oh my god. Okay, we should maybe improve the maneuvering thrusters on our ship. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm also gonna have Selena try cooking something really quick. Gosh, we are spending so much money on that rocket ship. I'm a little bit nervous. But Selena, you need to practice cooking because one day, girl, you are gonna be on your own. Grow up, honestly. Grow up. Oh, Jalen's talking to Miriam. Hey. She's honestly really pretty. I'm not sure if she's a sim that one of y'all made or not, but I really like her. Oh, she is like really mortified. This is not going well. Just don't set the kitchen on fire like your brother did. You'll be fine. She's just like crying into the grilled cheese. Come on, girl. You got this. Why are you crying? What's wrong with you? Time to wear black. Having a mood swing. Oh, honestly, all these teens are too hormonal for me to deal with right now. Grow up, all of you. All right, we can have everyone grab a serving. Did Miriam go home? Oh no, she's just on my brother's computer. Crying as well. Everyone's just crying around me. When you good out here, bud? You've been out here all day. He's having a rough time. Ooh, I've called to inform you. We're gonna get some money. Under what conditions? Or wait, no. Is it money, money, give me now? Because I don't want to get married. I think it's under what conditions? Yes, okay. Whew, I got it right. For some reason, I always mix it up in my head. All right, Quinn is not thriving. I'm gonna have him come take care of his needs. He's just been out with the rocket ship all day, so. Okay, bye, Miriam. Oh, and now she's having a hot-headed mood swing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Selena is having some issues. Why is it not letting me clean this bathroom? Tub, I might cry. What is going on with that? Are you kidding me? Is it because you're trying to get in the bathtub? Oh my god. You know what? Never mind. I was just trying to clean it. Okay, Selena girl, you might as well just go to sleep. You're having a bad day. No, no, Jet, please. By all means, do it yourself then. Whoa, Madeline's around? I didn't know that. Let's continue upgrading our ship though. Madeline, why are you staring at my dirty toilet? Yeah, I bet it does smell bad. What is wrong with her? All right, another day, another school day. Let's go, everyone. Get ready. Rise and shine. God, I'm not a morning person. I would always hate when my mom would come in like all bright and chipper in the morning and wake me up. I'd be like, how is that possible? How are you not tired? Oh, you're gonna cook something? All right, Selena, go off. Make some mac and cheese. Hey, what's going on? Come on, you can resume it. She did that on her own. I'm so proud of her. All right, have a good day at school, kiddos. All right, Quinn does have work today, so we're gonna really hope that he works hard. He doesn't work until 4 p.m. though, which is kind of annoying because now he's not gonna be around for his kids. Getting a call. We found found Selena trying to hack into the school computers today. We're not sure what her plan was, but we stopped her before she had the chance to do anything. Um, a warning should suffice. Oh my god, your bathroom is filthy, Quinn. When answering a question, Jet used forbidden words. It was a real shock to the teacher. Punish away. <laughs> Absolutely no forbidden words. All right, let's continue upgrading our rocket ship today before work. Otherwise, we won't be able to do any cool quests. Oh, he just likes handiness, does he actually? Oh yeah, he just likes handiness. That is not good for an astronaut. Um, well, buddy, I really hate to make you keep doing this, but you
you really do need to upgrade it. He's just not in a good mood at all overall, so we're not even halfway to finishing this upgrade. Wait, why didn't you eat food this morning like I told you to? Oh my god. No wonder why you're so miserable. For some reason, you didn't eat the food that I told you to grab. And you have work in an hour. Oh god, what does Madeline want? Monica and I just had a blast. Who is Monica? Do I know Monica? Apparently I do. Oh, oh. Monica is a global superstar, and I just told Madeline to go hang out with her. Um, okay. All right, the boys are doing absolutely amazing in school right now. Love to see that. I might have Jalen invite over Michelle Landgrab tonight, so get excited. He's in a good mood finally, so. All right, Quinn, you better have a good day at work today, bud. We really need you to be in tip-top shape and get a promotion maybe. Oh god, Selena's going through one of her mo one of her mood swings. Not good. All right, Jalen, since dad isn't home, why don't you invite over Michelle Landgrab? Because he's not there to tell you to do your homework. And then these two are just being cranky as heck. I don't know what their deal is. I guess maybe, oh, well, that's broken. We'll have to repair that later. You better take her upstairs because your siblings are being a bunch of butts. Hey, Michelle, it's good to see you. Oh no, is she being a butt too? Why is everyone in such a bad mood all the time? Let's ask her about her day and everything. We can be really nice. Oh, we need to invite her upstairs. Otherwise, everyone else is going to participate in the conversation, which is not what we want. We do not want a group chat right now. No group chat, please. Stop group chatting stop. All right, yeah, they're going upstairs. Perfect, perfect. Selena, when you're done with this, I would like you to repair this toilet. All right, Jalen and Michelle are up here alone. So let's hang out. She's kind of tense right now. I wonder what her deal is. Let's be friendly towards her. Maybe we can calm her down. Tell her a joke about engineers. She would probably love it. Uh-oh, I don't know if it's going well. Funny conversation. This is not going well. I wonder what her favorite color is, and then maybe we can try to get a selfie with her. Come on, take a selfie with me. It'll be fun. Selena dislikes pop music. Sure. Boring conversation. No, 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 no. Okay, what you all are not doing is coming up here to ruin your brother's day. Oh my god, stop. Leave. Go do your homework or something. Come on. You're not gonna ruin his day. They're having a boring conversation. Maybe they're not meant to be. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're taking a selfie with Michelle Landgrab. Maybe we just got off on a rough start because like she seems to like us. She's just having a bad day. I mean, look at how pretty she is. No, why are you leaving Michelle up? there. Jalen, uh, come on. Y'all are better friends now. Go have a conversation with her. Hang out. Maybe ask her if she's single. Oh, wait. She's a young adult. <gasps> oh, she's older than us. Oh my gosh. When are our birthdays? Not for a couple days. Okay. Well, we got to be careful then. She's just our older friend right now. Maybe that's why she's like, why am I here? You're so young. All right. Did you finish your homework today, buddy? Yes, you did. Do extra credit homework then. And are we out of food already? I swear. We are. Oh my God. We really need to cook something. This family runs out of food so fast. Let's do some mac and cheese, I guess. Michelle's taking out our trash. Jalen, come on, go on over there and talk to her. Maybe we can ask to stargaze with her. That would be fun. All right, we are cooking. It's good for her to learn how to cook because again, she's going to need to know how to do this. Man, not having dad around is kind of hard. All right, we finally got Jalen relaxing with Michelle Landgrab. I guess he just hasn't done his homework today. We should probably get on that. Honestly, Selena has kind of been holding down the fort. Her brothers are kind of useless when it comes to helping out around the house. I feel bad for her. Her. She's got good manners now. That's good. All right, Jet, you can get some of these leftovers. We're doing our homework and hissing, I guess. Bye, Michelle. Honestly, Selena, it might be good for you to just head to bed after that day. Long day. I feel like him doing his homework out here in the rain makes no sense at all. Like, wouldn't his textbook be getting really soggy right now? Oh my god, the sink is filthy. Okay, I'm making one of the boys clean it this time. When does Quinn get home? At 12 a.m. Okay, very soon. Also, he's so close to getting promoted. Come on, please, 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 please. So close. Wait, we did get promoted. Promoted to goods trader. Alien goods trader, actually. Wow, that is quite the outfit for work there, Quinn. We got the zero G training bag. Oh my gosh, nice. So wait, that means we are now level nine. That means we only have one more level until it is time for us to move on to the next generation. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be happening soon because all we really need to do is reach level 10 of fitness to ensure we get promoted. Besties, it's an exciting time. Time. Are you ready for for Gen 3? I think we can all agree that Selena is the best choice for Gen 3 at the moment. I do think the boys are actually going to be aging up into young adults before we get to Gen 3, so we'll give them one last chance to show us if they have a trait that makes them seem like they would make a good fit, but I'm going to be honest. I do not want to deal with an erratic sim at the moment, and I do not want to deal with a lazy sim, so that kind of makes both of them a little bit more difficult to work with. Selena just seems like the easier choice. Like, she's a vegetarian, so it's a little bit difficult because vegetarian vegetarian sims are dumb. They eat meat. But, uh, you know, I dealt with Clover Berry in my not-so-berry challenge, and she was a vegetarian. So I 
kind of think I know what I'm doing. These boys are staying up late tonight. My goodness. Y'all better be getting to bed now, okay? Good morning, kiddos. They both woke up at the same time. All right, Selena's actually feeling pretty good today. Did you get your homework done yesterday? Okay, she did. I could not remember. Are you gonna have a good day at school today? Yes, you are. And then your brother's birthdays are coming up soon. My goodness. Gosh, Jalen went to bed so late last night. I don't think he's gonna wake up. <laughs> he's gonna wake up just in time for school and that's it. There they are, the birthday warnings, coming soon. You two seem to get along really well. That makes me happy. All right, head off to school, girly. Have a good day. All right, now Quinn. Oh, she's saying we're friends with Michelle Landgrab. Must be cool. <laughs> now Quinn, I know today is your day off, but I'm actually gonna force you to go to work today. So get ready, champ. I know you're not having a lot of fun, but that's okay. Life's not fun. Go to work on off hours. Good luck, kid. Proud of you. Oh, we're getting a call. I'm answering a question Jalen used forbidden words. Punish. Absolutely no swearing in my house. They're still bullying her? We're still gonna confront them. Oh no, this time we made them matter. That's not good. No, Melina, I'm busy. We're going to work right now. Okay, I don't know if that actually put our performance up at all, but that's okay. We're gonna get some leftovers and then go do some fitness. I think we actually got an item to help with our fitness right now. Yeah, we got a punching bag, so might as well put that out here. Go ahead and use that. If Quinn knows anything, he knows that it's about drive. It's about power. He stays hungry. He devours. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I had to do it. He's actually pretty good at this. Wait, work starts in one hour? Oh, did my schedule change? Uh-oh, I didn't know that. Well, we're gonna be so ready for work today. All right, and all the kids are home. They're not doing great. All right, you can take care of your needs there, bud. And do your homework. You're just not having fun, are you? Well, that's too bad. Life isn't fun. You can do your homework. All right, just trying to keep all the kids organized. I'm gonna make sure Quinn isn't late to work, so I'm gonna watch him for a bit. You're doing great though, buddy. You're doing great. Fitness going up. What is that sound? There's just a really sad sound. I don't know what it was for. Go to work. There was like the music playing, but I, I really don't know what it's for. Let's invite over Michelle and grab again, by the way. Actually, maybe I'll wait until they age up, since there's no point in pursuing anything really while he's still a teenager. All right, you're fine. You can go do your homework now, buddy. That's enough TV. They must have fun with like the freedom of not having their dad around, you know? Oh my god, wait, <laughs> like Michelle is asking Jalen out. Yes, let's go. I was gonna say we're not gonna hang out with her, but I guess she wants to hang out with us, so on my way. The Island Bluffs? This place looks kind of shady. Let's brighten her day. Why are you bringing me here? Heartfelt compliment. <laughs> well, I guess we'll just hang out here a little bit and get to know her a bit better. She's definitely in a way better mood today, which is good. She's loving us. I feel like maybe they just got off on the wrong foot. I'm really hoping that this relationship will work for them. Michelle is a bookworm. Okay, okay, okay. That's good to know. Let's ask her about her career. Oh, she's currently unemployed. Interesting. I guess we can't advise her to get a career as a teenager. I was looking for that option. I was gonna like discuss a career change with her. But I guess we can't do that. Anyways, she is running off over there. I'm just gonna go ahead and head home with Jalen since this like date spot is a kind of a little bit weird. So I'm gonna go. Thanks for having me. Um, I feel like the boys need that kind of attention as well. Cause a lot of the times when I play Legacies, Oh, she can come over. A lot of the time when I play Legacies, I only focus on the heirs relationships, but I think it'd be fun to have cousins for the kids to hang out with. So we'll make sure we get Jalen and Jet some relationships. All right, hi, you're at my place now. <laughs> Good to have you here. I'm gonna share a conspiracy theory because I'm erratic. Also, why am I in the sand? I mean, the pavement. Whoa, that was weird. I was just like sunk beneath her. What is even going on here? I'm not gonna lie, Jalen's a little cursed. All right, do your homework, bud. Do your homework. You do your homework too. Why is no one doing their homework in this household? Just because I'm gone for five minutes does not mean you all get to slack. That's what I thought. Now, Selena, I'm gonna have you come out here and hit the punching bag for a bit because you need to work on your fitness. I don't even think you have fitness yet. Actually, you know what I could do? Oh my God, why am I not doing this for Quinn? I'm literally so dumb. I could just have Quinn dream big and get his fitness up. That is like the biggest fitness hack in the world. What have I been doing this whole time? <laughs> I feel like a silly goose. Here we go. Yeah, baby, fitness. I'm just gonna get her up a few levels. Woo, fitness. <laughs> You're a star, girl. You're a star. All right, let's have her go ahead and take a shower before bed. What was I thinking? I was over here having him do a punching bag. Like, are you joking me? Is this a joke to you? All right, go ahead and clean up there, buddy. Oh, Michelle's still talking to him. That makes me so happy. All right, and he's done with homework for the day. She's so nice to him. I really like them together. Oh, we're embarrassed? What for? Hot pretending. Selena was caught pretending to be a star basketball player. How embarrassing. Oh my god. Not like this. I guess we can talk to um, Michelle as well. Get to know her a little bit. 
Then I'm gonna have you kids go to bed. It's getting late. You really shouldn't be up this late. Go on and send Michelle home. Yeah, we know she's a bookworm. I was hoping you would find something else out for me. All right, we brought home like 2K. Oh, and look, Madeline's here. Are you gonna go say hi to Madeline, Quinn? Why are you looking so sad? Look at that little lip quiver. What's wrong, little buddy? He's embarrassed. He's walking away. Are you waiting for Madeline to like meet you outside or something? What is going on? I wonder if they're in the shady business together. What if we woohooed in the rocket? Oh my God, hold on. Let's do a smooth apology really quickly. Be like, look, I'm sorry for whatever I did. Oh, it's because I'm sad. Gloomy compliment. I can't woohoo in the rocket because I'm sad. Well, that's not good. Quinn is really not thriving right now. Also, he has this all alone thing because he wants to be surrounded by people, but like literally his whole family is here. So I really don't know what his issue is. You know what would be fun, Quinn? Woohooing. Oh my God. You're being so dramatic. You know what? We're going to dream big. Come on over here, buddy. Come on. We got to get your fitness up. There we go. That's more like it. Dream big there, buddy. Dream big. We are staying up far too late to be doing this. This is really bad. Okay, bye, Madeline. Thanks for hanging out. I've literally been doing this for like four hours. I just want to get him to level 10 fitness. Don't judge me. Yeah, we did it. Fired up. Way to go, Quinn. I'm proud of you there, buddy. All right, let's go eat something. Actually, you know what? Just go to bed, really. It's so late. Does he work tomorrow? Okay, thank goodness he does not work tomorrow. He can actually mentor others in fitness now, so I think it'd be kind of cool to have him mentor Selena since Selena is going to be needing to work out. I like that idea. All right, it's Friday. Do your homework. Good morning, everyone. Uh-oh, Selena has to pee. It's so rude when they just make themselves something instead of making everyone something. Like, what do you think you're doing? You could have cooked for the whole family, but now you're not. All right, Jet, it's your turn to cook something. You can make some pho. Let's go ahead and do that. Pho well, sounds delicious right now. Oh my god. I kind of want some. Chat, you want to go get some pho? Sorry, you're not chat. You're just the goblins. I guess... A lot of you are chat though. A lot of you do watch my Twitch, so chat. <laughs> I don't know if that's something I'm ever going to be able to grow out of or get rid of that habit, so I, I apologize. Aw, sibling love. We'd love to see it. All right, buddy, why don't you use the bathroom before going? Have a good day at school, kids. I think it's actually the boys' last day of school because their birthday is tomorrow, which is exciting. Fun, fun, fun. Jalen, you're late for your last day of school. Come on, bud. All week at school, kids have been asking their sweethearts to the annual Love Day school school party. There will be cookies and punch, music, the exchanging of flowers, and cards. And of course, awkward chaperones. Jed had yet to be asked, so he had two options. Invite someone special. We're gonna invite Michelle. No, it took courage. That's what Jet would have kept telling himself the moment he asked that special sim to the love day. Oh, I just got them mixed up. Jalen's the one who should have asked Michelle. I should have said I was going alone. Oh my god, that's kind of embarrassing. Sorry, Jet. <laughs> I just got the boys mixed up. All right, when the teacher asked for volunteers to help set up for the Love Day dance, Selena was quick to raise her hand. Not only would she get out of class a few hours, but she'd be given an, a unique opportunity. Oh, we're gonna decorate for the best dance ever. Selena might have been tasked with setting up for a Love Day dance, but instead she'd be setting up for the Love Day dance. With a flurry of banners, streamers, cookies, and punch, not literally, that would be messy. Selena decorated the gym for Love Day dance that would be remembered for years to come. Very happy for her. All right, this time Jalen's gonna invite someone special. It worked! It took most of the day for Jalen to work up the nerve and ask that special sim to the party, but it was totally worth it. Jalen stole shy glances at his date, and they congregated along the wall, awkwardly chatted about their classes, school sports, and the weather, which oddly had been more active as of late. By the time the party was over, Jalen's heart was a flutter. In my heart, that was Michelle that he went out with. <laughs> Alright, Quinn buddy, you need to get rid of that. I don't know who made you a people person, but that is really annoying. How do I get rid of that? How do I get rid of the people person's lifestyle? Do I have to like call someone? Isn't it like lifestyle coaching? Yeah, lifestyle coaching. Okay, there we go. I want to get rid of it. It is literally so annoying. It's just making him sad all the time. We're getting you some help, buddy. No, I'm not joining the page turners. Get rid of people person. Here we go. Abandon and alone. You shouldn't be feeling that anymore. You're not a people person anymore. Quinn, grow up. I just had to raise his social a little bit. I cheated for that. <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Ooh, do you want to go out on a date? I mean, yeah, we'll go on a date with you, Madeline. Addy Wax Emporium? I mean, okay. She's kind of weird, so I'm curious. Ah, uh, yes, the kid's toy shop. Just where I've always wanted to go on a date. Let's share the love date spirit, though. I can practice fighting with Madeline. No way right now. Hold on, I want to see this. Are they just gonna, like, start beating each other up? Oh my god. What is happening? Are you kidding me right now? Did she beat us? That is something they would do in their relationship and just be really happy about it, though. They'd be like, yeah, let's practice fighting because we're both criminals. They are kind of perfect for each other, but 
The future cube foreboded. Let's just be romantic with her. We'll give her a kiss. Sul Sul, he said. <laughs> I love them. I know a lot of you in the comments like them as well. They're a good couple. Um, I don't know if we should be, like, making out for love day at a kid's toy shop, though. That's a little weird. This is a long date, Madeline. I'm gonna have to leave, I'm gonna be honest. I had such a great time! Okay, wait, she really liked it. And we completed part of our aspiration, no way. I love that for us. What sentiment did we just get? Smitten. <laughs> Quinn is, like, smitten with Madeline, and Madeline's like, yeah, he gives good advice. Oh my god, I'm dead. That's definitely a bit of a one-sided relationship in my opinion, so... Are the kids home yet? No, they're not. Okay, well, gives us a little bit of peace and quiet before they get home. Welcome home, kiddos! Oh, Jalen's one of the top students. That's great. And also, uh, Selena just got to be an A student as well. All right, these boys never have to do homework again because they're going to be aging up tomorrow. So I am not going to force them to do their homework. I'm such a nice sim mother. Sim mother. Smother. That's kind of morbid. She's like, Dad, I really need to do my homework. But he's using her computer. He Don't you have your own computer, Flynn? Flynn? Who's Flynn? I mean Quinn. Oh boy, we're having issues already. Are you boys ready for your birthday tomorrow? It's gonna be great. It's love day today. And normally I would invite over someone for uh, the boys to maybe get to know a bit better. But I don't know. Jet doesn't really know anyone. Maybe I should invite someone over for Selena. She has that friend Miriam. Let's invite her to hang out at the current lot. And then there's also Naomi as well. Naomi is adventurous, which is kind of fun. I might be putting in some young adults into my game for them to get to know. All right, Miriam will be right over. There she is. Let's say hello. Uh, let's ask her if she's single. Go on, Selena. She's coming upstairs. Be like, hey, do I have a love day gift? I'll give her this medal that I got. <laughs> Hopefully she likes it. Come on over. Be like, hey, I have a gift for you for love day, you know, because I kind of think you're cute. Oh my god, my brother's in the conversation. I'm gonna cry. Go away, Jet. I'm with a girl. Why is she like hardly friends with me, by the way? He like doesn't get the hint. I'm gonna flirt a little bit too. What else should we do? Ask her favorite color. That'd be fun to know. Her favorite color is white. Okay, okay. We can work with that. Michelle Landgrab is wondering if I want to go over to her, her house and hang out. Wait, does she not live in the mansion? Oh, we got to go suss this out. This could be an issue. She does not live in the mansion. She lives here. Does that mean she doesn't have money? I'm going to give her a love day gift. I'm going to give her turquoise. Sweet. He's such a sweetheart to her. Well, now I'm concerned that she doesn't have the money. Oh my god, she's also a vegetarian. How funny is that? Just like our sister. Where are you going, Jalen? No, we are not going into that house. By the way, there's just like a graveyard here. Oh my god, it's Malcolm Landgrab. <laughs> are you kidding me? Malcolm's just here? No one even noticed he was there. Oh my god. Okay, no, we are going home, bud. We're leaving now. And I think that might be where we end today's episode, which means we will be aging up the boys in the next episode. And also, hopefully, it will be... A well, I don't want to say hopefully it will be our last episode with Quinn as the heir, but it might be because we are getting really close to Quinn getting fully promoted. Let's see how close we are. Yeah, he he is going to get promoted to level 10 the next episode, so that will probably be the last episode where Quinn is the heir. And then from then on, yeah, you can like metal music. And then from then on, Selena will be taking the reins unless something happens and the boys get like the absolute best trait in the world for an athlete. But I really do think Selena is going to be taking the mantra. Gosh, it's kind of sad to think about that. Oh, the next time I play with this family might be the last time Quinn is like the guy. I might cry. I might get emotional. <laughs> Bring your tissues next week. But yeah, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut this episode now because it is turning out to be a little bit long. Um, but I had a lot of fun and I am getting a little bittersweet about this family because I have a nice house. I really like it. But, you know, we're gonna have to start over with Selena. So that's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll get it together. And I know I can count on y'all to be there with me. Don't forget, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. And until next time, I love you all a lot and I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching my YouTube video. I don't know what I'm singing. This is my outro, but thanks. See you next time. Love you. Bye.